Hello guys, what is going on? It is Sam here and welcome back to another mining guide and before this video starts you probably clicked on the title knowing this you might think this is pretty much just a repeat video that people have done over and over again and then I'm pretty much just copying them Oh well, yep, it's a um, granite mining guide and it's a mining guide that is probably, I'd say, underused actually although it's the fastest way to train mining in the game but it's very underused and then I'll pretty much be in this video explaining partly why that is and the ways you can try and uh, make it better so next next I'll be showing you how to get there okay so the first way you're going to be getting there is via the ring of jeweling you need to be heading to the Shante pass which is just south of the ring, ring of jeweling teleport to the Alcarid jeweling arena so of course what you're going to need to do just teleport to Alcarid and then was, and then just simply run straight south from there. That's the power to wait. And yeah, been hitting million recently. Most likely in the next clip it will be uh, probably fixed because this lag seems to be so bad in recent. With anyone else's experience in it, then yes, at least I'm not the only one. But the cathedral. What cathedral? <laughs> then you will find yourself at the Shanty Pass, and I will give you instructions in a bit what to do there. The method is going to, going to be via fairy ring, so use an ectofer or anything you have to get to an ectofer. And then once you have the ectofer, west in, and eventually you will across a thing in the forest. Make sure so west behind the trees. I find it really annoying. Yeah, make you that. What I think, yeah, definitely going to be fixed. So once you are at the fairy ring, you need to type the code B I Q in, and that will get you to just south of the Shante Pass, and then you can make your way to the quarry from there, and that will be probably in a couple of clips time so that is the second way you can get there so that is the two ways you can now get there so what are you going to need for this of course your best mining suit it doesn't really matter about desert robes because you have water skins for that you need just any pickaxe really it doesn't really matter otherwise so then you want water skins which are what uh, keep you hydrated during the desert I think with full prospect you drink one every two minutes so that means eight minutes per water skin and then you can do the maths on how long you want to stay there for but I normally take uh, roughly how many you've got on my inventory I have I have it set up specifically like this and I will explain that once I am there so yep there is your inventory setup if you're going to be traveling by the rug merchant which is just here you're going to want to bring some coins and of course to go through the desert if you have if you did not use the fairy ring you require uh, some shante passes i'll explain the knife when we're there too so because of all that lag i'm now going to be doing the rest of the video in fixed mode because <laughs> it's simply impossible for you guys to watch so i'm sorry about that so once you're at the shante pass or if you're just south of it then just run south to the bedouin camp but otherwise you want to go through the shante pass and then go straight to the rug merchant and Asked to go to the Bedouin camp, this will cost you 200 coins, or with a ring of Karos A, or oh, I think that's what it's called anyway, you can get it for 100 coins. So the carpet ride will take you to the Bedouin camp, and from there you need to be running south, that will be in the next clip. So, yep, this is where you need to go if you use the fairy ring as well. From the Bedouin camp, from the Bedouin camp, you need to be running south. And pretty much just go south down to the bandit camp. This place will be useful if later on in the tips section there's something you can do from it. And you just want to make sure you run around the um, circular area and then straight to where the quest one is. And then you will find yourself in the quarry and next to the rocks that you will be needing to mine. Okay, so once you are there, you pretty much probably know what to do next. Uh, you want to simply just uh, do the rotation I am about to show you. It's a very simple rotation, it's where you mine. The rock I'm mining now, then the rock behind it, and then the rock behind that. So I'm sorry if it is lagging a bit at the moment. Unfortunately, I think my PC is probably just comes to the end, but yeah, we won't worry about that. And once you've mar you've married that once you've mined them, you should have in the rotation I'm about to make, and then you just want to simply drop them with your mouse keys. Mouse keys are very simple to use once you do learn how to use them. I think I have a video showing how, so yeah, you can use them. So I'll just show you again, do the same rotation. And then, yep, this is pretty much all you have to do, really. I mean, I wouldn't say all you have to do, but, yes. It's very tedious in the end, I suppose, but if you have mouse keys, which I do have, it's not quite as bad. So with mouse keys, as long as you... It takes a few hours to get used to them, but, yeah, they're fine. So there you go, that's pretty much all you have to do for hours and hours and hours. In the next clip there will be me probably doing this for probably 30 seconds or so just to give you an example.
Okay, so that's the mining done, so now I'll be showing you probably four or five tips and tricks that can uh, help you with this, so yep. Time for the tips and tricks of the quarry mining. Tip number one, using your knife, you can get extra water for your water sins by simply just cutting the Caridian cactuses nearby. So all you have to do for this is click on cut Caridian cactus, sometimes it will not cut them and you won't get any water like I just didn't then, but most of the time you will and there you go, you get one lot of water skin which can be quite useful because these things generate a thing every one minute. Tip number two, you can buy extra water skins from the bandit camp which is just north of the quarry, we went past it on the way, it's very simple, This you do need extra for this and you could probably just keep doing this all the way to 99 mining actually, but I think you'd probably have been killed by then. Number three, you can use the humidify spell to top up all of your water skins, this clip is not mine so it's credit to whose clip this is, I think uh, I've blacked out his name anyway. So the humidify spell tops up all your water skins so yeah, you could stay here till 99 too. So the final tip then, probably the most important one of all, is to not spend your entire life at this place. Of course if you're grinding for say 85 for diaries or you want 99 like me, this place is one you should be visiting quite commonly but my advice is really to not spend too long here. I have a schedule here and I think I, s I spend about an hour a day at the moment here in my quest for 99 mining and look at that lag. Look at that lag. But yeah, <laughs> we'll forget about that. As I was saying, if you spend too long here, you might find it really, really boring, then you might lose interest in the game, so I don't recommend you do that. And if you're not enjoying it, then do not do it, really, because I think you should only do it if you're sort of sort of enjoying it at the same time. And you should, this, you should do this maybe while listening to music or watching a streamer, perhaps. That's normally what I do. But yeah, that's my most important tip, is to, you know, not spend your whole life place. Yes, you, can, you probably recognise I can't talk today. But yeah, anyway... Don't spend your whole life here, pretty much. Please, man. <laughs> Stop. So there we go then, guys. That is going to be it for this mining guide. I hope you were all informed by it, and I hope maybe I did this a bit differently to other other ways that people do it, but if I didn't, then I am sorry, but I have tried. So, as usual, XP rates will be coming next, and I probably will be commentating that, but apart from that, I will see you in the next video.